Do you plan for the future? I'm sure the answer is yes. But here's my bigger question. How far ahead do you plan for the future? Here's what I noticed. I work with the poor. And a long time ago, I was working in the slum area, actually living there, working with them. And I noticed that the poorest of the poor, they can't even plan for tomorrow. I mean, they can only think of today. Where will I have find food for today? The middle class, for example, they look ahead a little bit longer, more far ahead. They think about like five years from now, 10 years from now, what will I be doing? They plan and strategize for what they will be doing 10 years from now. But then the rich, like the really rich people, my gosh, the, 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 the Ayala family or the, the C family, I was reading articles about them and my gosh, they plan 100 years, 200 years, even to 500 years ahead. They're thinking of the generation and the next generation and the next generation. They strategize and plan that far. I've got an announcement to make. You're not just rich. You are uber rich because you are the children of the Most High God, the owner of this universe. And so because of that, I want you to plan not just 100, 200, 500 years from now. No, I want you to plan ahead all the way until eternity. This is God's call for your life. I want you to understand that you're going to be living in this planet just for what? 50, next 50 years, next 70 years, maybe some of you until 100 years. And then where will you go? Hi, my name is Bo Sanchez and welcome to Full Tank, your place of inspiration. I pray that you will be blessed as we share the gospel for the day. It's Luke chapter 16, verse 1. And Jesus talks about a strange story, weird story about a manager who cheats his employer. The employer, employer finds out, fires him. But then as he was trying, you know, he knew that he was going to lose his job already because he was fired. What, he, what does he do? He cheats some more. But instead of stealing money for himself, he goes to the creditors of his boss and then slashes their debt by half. What is he doing? Cheating some more, but so that all these creditors will be kind to him when he's out on the streets. You know, when Jesus tells the story, he's not saying cheat. No, he's saying, look at this crook. Look at this cheater. He's looking ahead in the future that when he's out on the streets without a job, he's making friends with all these creditors, of course in a cheating way. But what is the point of Jesus? Can you also look ahead? Can you also plan for the future? Can you also say, I've got one last story. My mother lived in the Japanese war and she was telling me that at the very tail end of the war, the Japanese money that they were using every day, it was losing its value. So much so that a paper bag of Japanese money would buy another paper bag of grocery. And why? Because people knew the war was about to end, the Japanese were losing, they were leaving the country. And so the currency, I want you to know that the currency of this world, one day it's going to lose all its value. You need to learn to exchange the currency of this world to the currency of the coming kingdom. And the only currency of the coming kingdom is love. And so use your wealth right now, your talents, your treasure, and your time. Exchange it for the currency of eternity, which is love. I pray that you be a more loving person. I pray that you sacrifice yourself for others. I pray that you become more selfless in your family, to the people around you, in your ministry. This is the call to plan way ahead for eternity. Can I pray for you? Let's pray together. Father, we thank you for our future. We thank you for eternity. We thank you for heaven and we look forward to that. But we pray now, Lord, that whatever we do in this world, we can transform this world to become a part of your kingdom. We pray in Jesus' name that you use us. Father, we pray for blessings. We pray for more blessings so that the blessings that we will receive, it shall overflow to the people around us. Thank you so much for your great mercy and great love. Father, I pray for every person watching this video that your miracles and healing and blessing be theirs. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Thank you so much, guys, for this opportunity. Listen to me, if you do not have yet a spiritual community, and, um, you know, I really believe we need, we really need one, you know, all of us do. 
Um, just in case you don't have one, you can join the feast. Um, go to feast.ph and then you know look at, at the, all the other feasts that we have. They're all over the world. Um, you can even start one <laughs> by by starting a, a feast light. And uh, again, you know, go through that web page and find out more about what we do. And then, thank you so much for for being there, for being part of Full Tank. God bless you, everybody, and I will see you tomorrow. Thank you so much for joining us. I have a favor to ask. If you have not yet done so, subscribe to this podcast because that's how these things work. You know, the algorithm, etc. Somewhere, somehow it gets up in the ranking and then people will get to know more about it and people will listen and then people will be blessed and then the blessings will ripple and more and more people will experience God's love. Thank you again for all your support and I will see you next time.